It would not be a visit to a university without some student interviews. And today I'm going to give you a bunch of interviews with West Virginia University students. Let's talk to some mountaineers. I'm Mackenzie. I'm from Moorfield and I'm studying biology. Studying biology? Awesome. You plan on doing like a medicine track with that? Or? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Okay. Possibility. Cool. How long have you been, have you been here? Four days. Four days. Okay. Fresh. Like Fresh just got here. Yeah. Okay, awesome. So what are your like initial impressions? I like it. <laughs> it seems pretty cool. What made you like the place? How did you decide to come here? I don't really know. I, <laughs> <laughs> I like, it's pretty. <laughs> it is pretty. Plans for this year? Anything you really want to do? Any clubs you want to join? Um, I want to go to some sporting events. <laughs> okay. Anything uh, that has surprised you or anything you didn't expect so far coming in? Um, really how many people you see. Like you meet somebody new pretty much every day. Yeah, sounds good. You already making some new friends here? Yeah. <laughs> All right, good. That's good to hear. So, any advice for someone who might want to come to this university? Um, get some good shoes to walk in. <laughs> get some good shoes to walk in. Let me just uh, get a little oh, pair yeah. of those. Yeah, okay. I don't know how good these are, but they look Yeah, cool. those look good. At least they look cool. So, that's what matters. All right, thank you so much, Mackenzie. Appreciate it. This is rough. While the sun was shining, I had the opportunity to talk to a bunch of engineering students over at the engineering campus. So let's start with them, and then we're going to get into some international students. My name is Courtney Wright. I'm from Parkersburg, West Virginia, and I'm studying engineering. All right, engineering. Any specific track you're looking to get into? Um, either mechanical or civil. I haven't decided yet. What do you think of the engineering program here so far? I really like it. When I first toured here, I thought it was really good, and I looked into a couple different colleges, but I just really like this program here. Why did you choose West Virginia University in the end of the day? I really like the environment with the rowing team, too, so I chose here. All right, sounds good. Any advice for potential applicants? Just get to meet people, because when you meet your friend group, it's really fun time. There's lots of things to do here, and it's a really exciting campus. Yeah. How have you like kind of made friends here since you've started, you know, being here a student? Um, actually, I have just like added people on Snapchat because there's Snapchats on like the doors at the dorms. Yeah. So yeah, you just add them on Snap, and then you ask them to hang out. And a lot of people are willing to do it because everyone's in the same boat. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I would never have thought of that. That seems so simple. <laughs> yeah, it really is. Yeah. How do you find the community here? Um, I really like it. Everyone is really nice to each other, honestly. I haven't had any problem with anyone. Okay, I really like great. It. I'm glad to hear that. I'm Aubrey Altizer. I study mechanical and aerospace engineering, and I'm from Nicholas County, which is about two hours from here. Sounds good. Can you tell me a little bit about your program, what it's like? Um, it's difficult. It's tedious. There's a lot of like little minor things that we have to do and focus on, but it's a lot of fun. We get to do hands-on projects and work on the computer a lot. So. Okay. How are the facilities here for that kind of They're stuff? They're awesome. They're so high-tech. Like It's crazy the advancements that we have here. What made you choose uh, West Virginia University? It's close to home and it's so pretty on campus. I, I mean, I love all of the campuses here, but that was my, one of the main reasons. This is just like a pretty place to be. So. Yeah. Yeah, I'm getting that vibe too. Very nice. A lot of nature. Yeah. More green than concrete. Definitely, yeah. Like, which you don't see in most places. And the PRT, which is a cool feature, like, yeah. that's awesome. Yeah, when you have an ID, I, I'm running out of quarters, but that's pretty cool. Um, so, how do you feel about the community here? Like, how is it, easy is it for you to integrate and get comfortable? Everyone is super nice. Like, even my professors, they're so willing to help all the students. You don't really meet a mean person here, or I haven't at least, so. That's good to me. All right, cool. Any advice for like applicants or new students here? What would you tell them to do? Um, the earlier the better. Anything you can do early, do it early because the quicker you get things done, the more you can just relax and enjoy being here. My name is Ashton Cole. Uh, I'm studying general engineering for now before I figure out um, a specific one to go into. So you got any idea of like what engineering track you might want to do? No, no idea. No idea. How do you think you're going to figure that out? Probably just these general classes will go into that a little bit and then I'll figure out what I'm interested in. Okay. So how long have you been on campus? Uh, about a week. Just coming to classes. I live at home. How is it as far as like getting here, coming, going back and forth? Uh, you just got to figure out uh, how long everything takes. Like the drive here, the walk up, the PRT ride to get to class. And then once you have that figured out, it's, it's pretty easy. My name's Caden Maxey. Uh, I'm from Fairmont, West Virginia, and I'm here studying industrial engineering. I'm on my junior year right now. Okay, great. So uh, what's the program been like so far? Uh, so industrial engineering is new to me. I recently changed from electrical engineering, but uh, in terms of like department, it's pretty similar, just difference of classes. Okay. What sparked that change? Um, this wasn't what I thought it was, and I'm just branching out to see if this is what I think it is. So. Okay. So what differences are you seeing now between the two programs? Uh, just general classes. I mean, 
Uh, neither one of them is going to be easy necessarily. That, that's, that wasn't what motivated my change. Um, I feel like industrial engineering is more management based and electrical engineering was a lot more like tech savvy stuff. Okay, so you're looking a little more big picture operations yeah. versus the actual nitty gritty? Yeah, exactly. Okay, yeah. What do you feel like a student needs to bring to the table? Um, so anyone can do engineering. Uh, it's definitely a very high discipline major. You know, there's a lot of distractions in college and it's just staying on track with that, getting your studying done, uh, just putting in the work. Okay. How do you balance that stuff? Like, I mean, obviously you want to have some college experience, you want to have some fun, but you also got a lot of work to do yeah. as an engineering major. Like, wh how do you find that balance? Uh, just make your schedule, stick to it, uh, really put precedence on some things more than others. West Virginia University has a lot of smart people in every department uh, that want to help you. So it's just branching out, networking with those people, and then if you do that, you'll be set. I was lucky enough to find two international students. There's not a huge international population here in West Virginia. Only about 500 students from, you know, around 25,000. So we're looking at about 2% international here. But I found two of those people, so I'm going to let you hear what they have to say about their experience. Hola, soy Paula, soy de España y estoy haciendo el máster de TESOL, de enseñanza de inglés como lengua extranjera, y estoy también de profesora de español aquí en la universidad. ¿Y dónde hiciste pregrado? En España, en España, en la Universidad de Salamanca. Ok, ¿por qué elegiste esta universidad? Pues porque tenía, hay una beca con el con convenio con la Universidad de Salamanca y entonces teníamos que venir aquí dos años de máster y estamos de profesores de la universidad. ¿Y qué te parece el programa? Me encanta mucho porque no creía que me gustase ser profesora y gracias a esto pues me estoy planteando ser profesora en un futuro. ¿Dónde te gustaría trabajar? Sé que me gustaría que a lo mejor quedarme unos años aquí en Estados Unidos y luego volverme a Europa, aunque no en España. Mi consejo es venir, eh, descubrir, salir fuera de casa y es una universidad muy aunque es, es pequeñita, pero que hay un montón de gente y siempre hay oportunidades para hacer de todo, cualquier actividad, y hay un montón de gente que siempre está disponible para ayudarte. Me gusta que está como en medio de la naturaleza, eh, salir de fiesta si te apetece, o sea que nunca puedes estar quieto, siempre hay algo que hacer. ¿Qué es lo que más te sorprendió cuando llegaste aquí? Me sorprendió que hubiese tantísima gente y sobre todo muchísima gente internacional. Creía que iba a venir aquí a hablar muchísimo, muchísimo inglés, pero luego he descubierto que hay una comunidad hispanohablante es enorme y estoy súper agradecida por eso. Es como mi segunda casa, porque también es una ciudad pequeñita que, que se parece a la mía y entonces me gusta, me gusta muchísimo. My name is Nicolás Uribe. I did my undergrad in management with a minor in leadership studies at West Virginia University. I'm currently doing a master's degree in human resources. I took some classes back home, which is Ecuador, South America, and I transferred to West Virginia University, which is crazy how I ended up here, but uh, ended up working pretty well because I'm 23 and I almost done with my uh, master's degree in this December 2022. How did you decide to transfer to West Virginia. Mm -hmm. I feel like as an international student, West mm -hmm. Virginia is not high on most people's mm -hmm. list. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm kind of curious how you got here. So I was looking for somewhere that was the opposite from how it was back home. I come from Guayaquil, Ecuador, which is actually a city. It's, it's a pretty uh, busy city compared to other cities in Ecuador. And I knew West Virginia was completely the opposite. You know, it's mountains, it's a lot of outdoors, outgoing. Uh, there is diversity for all type of, um, you know, countries and I wanted to take an opportunity for me to be somewhere that I knew that I didn't feel comfortable to learn new things about me. I had a knowledge from, you know, talking to people online, watching a lot of videos in YouTube. I was very, very open-minded to just try new things, going around, talking to people. And I knew for sure West Virginia had a lot of resources for international students that uh, ended up working so well in the fi uh, part of financial aspect. Being a public institution, they can't do need-based aid for mm -hmm. internationals. Did you get any good scholarships or anything to help bring down that yes. cost? Yes, yes, that's a good question. So they provide me a good few of scholarships that uh, one of them specifically, it was not guaranteed. I had to be here a year, but I did took the risk, did my best the first year, and then they gave me the scholarship that uh, actually the next year helped me a lot with financial, yeah. Do you intend to stay here mm -hmm. in the States and look for work here? Do you feel that you'll be able to do that? Mm -hmm. I was lucky enough, and I work actually very hard to get an internship over the summer. 
he was in a big company, is Camtrak, which is the train system in the US. They go all around the US and a few cities on the Canada. I'm happy now in this company and I hope to stay connected with them after graduation. How did you connect with people and other students on campus? Mm -hmm. I think that's one of the hardest things, um, the first couple of weeks or even months, because you're in a place that you're gonna have a lot of like cultural shock in a lot of ways. All Fridays we have a specific place to meet all the international students, to just chat, to know each other, uh, met new people. We had someone from Guatemala just cooking to 30 people or 40 people, which was really good. I can say that I never tried Guatemalan food, but it uh, was a very, very good experience. What advice would you give to some internationals who maybe are considering transferring or applying to the US? Do a lot of research. Try to reach out to students or alumni and ask their experience. Maybe have another perspective and that will help you to get through your final decision where you're gonna go. As a last advice, I know it sounds scary and so I know it sounds like very risky sometimes. It's always good to get supported by people that actually wants to help you because you cannot do it alone and I can say that from my experience. Most of the time we think that we don't need help, we don't need to reach out to anyone, we can find things by ourselves, but it's actually not true. Uh, just by asking for help you can meet a lot of good people. The best way to get through things is by supporting each other.